Yeah, that's look. Hey, hello, welcome everyone. Today we are having a conversation with uh, Leo. He is a good old friend of mine and he is a real motivational story or inspirational story which I take um, inspiration from. And without taking much of a time, I'll put on uh, the mic or the speaking side to Leo. Hey Leo, welcome on the show and um, hope you're doing well. Thank you. Thank you before. Thank yeah. you for the opportunity that we get together. And uh, good evening or good morning, uh, good afternoon to everyone. Um, uh, just an opportunity for me to share about how I'm excited about my life my business and my future and the future that is uh, within um uh, within reach Amazing. okay my name is uh, leo canal mm -hmm. and um, i uh, was born in the philippines uh, in a small country uh, province of billara summer i grew up um uh, with no dad i uh, grew up with my aunties and things and i completed my through my strong uh, my uh, commitment and my hard work. I completed my uh, mechanical engineering degree in Tacloban City, in the, which is part of the Philippines, in the central part of the Philippines. And um, um, I did work in the Philippines only, only for three years. Mm -hmm. Then, uh, unfortunately, I was looking and hungry to support my family. I was mm -hmm. able to work in as a contract worker in Saudi Arabia. Mm -hmm. Mm, and in mm. Saudi Arabia, I was an electrical operator. Mm -hmm, and, mm -hmm. uh, uh, during the time, almost seven years, I met my wife, my lovely wife. Wow. And my children were born there. Ah, okay. I nice. was lucky because uh, my wife was working in the hospital, so there was a nursery. So uh, it, I was blessed with many things. I'm a All believer right. on, I'm a Christian believer. I believe mm. in Jesus Christ. Mm -hmm. That's uh, how it keep me going. And um, during the time of, in Saudi Arabia, uh, I was working in Saudi Electric Company, which is uh, the capital, the summer capital of Saudi Arabia. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Uh, during the time, I've been there for almost uh, eight years in my life. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Warfare. Mm -hmm. But life in Saudi Arabia, there was no uh, exciting there, you know, mm -hmm. because most of the culture there is just work, mm -hmm. home. Mm, and mm. Uh, we cannot uh, uh, even the the wife is covering uh, when we going to the market. Uh, mm. She has to wear they call it uh, uh, to a black covering to cover mm -hmm. themselves. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. And um, I enjoy with the company of my uh, friends and my colleagues. Mm -hmm. And uh, of course, the reason is we work there is because of financial matters to support our family. To mm. a greener pasture. Mm. I mm. did that one and support my um, parents. Mm -hmm. And then, luckily, I was not, uh, we're not uh, very happy in long term. Mm -hmm. because the thing is, we'll be staying in, in Saudi Arabia. Mm -hmm. uh, the children will be uh, sent back to the Philippines, which I don't like to make it happen to, to them. Mm. So, uh, what I did, I say, why not apply to um, uh, Australia? Mm -hmm. I, did, I never knew about Australia before. I was innocent, whatever, where it is part of the country or the, of the world. <laughs> mm, and, luckily, mm. <laughs> and luckily, I was able to, uh, my, my application were granted. Mm -hmm. and without, uh, luckily, without granted, without any interview at all, it's directly medical. Mm, that's good. Was, yeah, it, all medical straight away. Uh, lucky. Is, uh, for more, almost one year. Mm -hmm. And then mm -hmm. after that one, mm -hmm. uh, do you remember about uh, the Gulf War? Mm -hmm. Yeah, 1990. In, uh, yeah, that was a significant thing that we don't rem we don't forget because the memories of our family. We were only the family in the airport. Uh, my kids were one, two, and three. God bless. Uh, God bless. We were stranded in the airport and the fighter plane was flying in the airport and my kids were just enjoying it. What's that bad? It's just, you know, it's already trouble and I was worried. 
and the kids was just <laughs> that was um, this uh, the memories that we cannot forget because that's what about to um, to go out from Saudi Arabia because we already finished contract we cannot go back to our own company mm, so mm, we mm. were stranded for five days Ooh. during this Gulf War Ooh. yes yeah. And uh, so migrated to Australia. Luckily, we migrated to Australia in mm. 1991. Oh, okay. And uh, yeah, during this time, uh, I have a lot of challenges because uh, uh, my professions were my profession was not accepted. So I did uh, different jobs in different companies, small Ooh. companies, big companies, and then I did um, uh, so. I uh, say how I could get better if they will not allow me or they are looking for um, you know experience local experience mm. how you mm. can have a mm. local experience <laughs> with just a ride yeah. so what I did I did work mm -hmm. and then study the night five days mm. it mm. takes me about five years to complete all my Ooh. qualification part time. Yeah. Mm. It mm. was uh, struggling because my, I have all my young families, my kids were growing up, and uh, luckily my wife was able to work. Mm. Mm. And mm. Uh, that was, I was really ambitious to do something what is good. And I'm mm. hungry to, to, to support myself, whatever it takes to do anything. Mm. So mm. Uh, I went to different jobs, a uh, uh, small company doing computers, industry, construction, whatever it takes. So, and with that, until I finished and completed my uh, uh, license mm -hmm. and uh, mm -hmm. my diploma, then I was able to choose the, the job that I want to. Mm. After a long time. After, After a long, long time. time. Yeah. And but struggle. Yeah. luckily, because I'm very ambitious with good attitude, mm. I could do this one. Mm -hmm. That's my attitude. So luckily, I was able to land a job now mm -hmm. with government mm -hmm. as a permanent employee. I've been there almost now 15 years. Wow. Wow. Yeah. Wow. That's but, good. Uh, yeah. Mm -hmm. During this time, I was really um, ambitious to have my own business because mm -hmm. even since if, if, when I was young, I was already thinking I mm -hmm. will not be, uh, be rich. I will not be... Uh, I will not be wealthy if I just working with with somebody else. Mm -hmm. It is said if uh, Jim Ron, as I listen to some of the uh, motivational speakers, says that if you love your job, you make a living. But if you love uh, working for yourself, you make a fortune. Okay. And exactly right. Got because it. I meet a lot of people that are staying there for forty years and still struggling and is still uh, working so my my aim is that my philosophy is that to have your own business part-time will lead you to where you want to be but you have to have the right correct venture right. okay yep so when this when when did you start your business activity on the side um I started the business activities uh, 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 like small selling books, mm -hmm. the world, world book before, mm -hmm. and mm -hmm. I joined with trainings and things. So excited meeting a lot of people and learning. Mm -hmm. And mm -hmm. um, I met a lot of different people with uh, entrepreneur mindset. Mm -hmm. So mm -hmm. I was encouraged and uh, um, encouraged to start my own. Mm, so mm, mm. definitely during the time I started, you want to believe I started a takeaway business. Right. Okay. That's exciting. <laughs> That's a big I don't have any uh, experience at all. I'm just excited. I'll do, do this one. I mm. gave up my job as an electrician for one oh. year. Uh -oh. Concentrated on that. Yeah. Okay. But it was a, a biggest experience in my life. I don't, mm. I doesn't mean it's an failure. It was an investment for myself mm, mm, because mm. I learn a lot. If I will uh, begin again, mm. I know where we're going to start. Mm, mm, but um, uh, make the story short, I was uh, I was ambitious and looking for something better. Mm -hmm, so mm -hmm. uh, I I come across um, uh, the health and wellness industry. 
Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. It was introduced to me by my family doctor. Would you believe that? Oh, a family okay. Doctor, family doctor was uh, offered to me and say, uh, "Try this, try mm-hmm. this product." Mm-hmm. But uh, in the beginning, we were skeptical because uh, for me, vitamins is just general. Supplement mm-hmm. was just general. You can select in 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 a store or something. Mm. And I say, okay, my wife was struggling because uh, she had some major operation. Mm. When your family encounters a breakthrough like health in the family, mm. Mm. your plan changes, priority yeah. changes. Yeah. So you yeah. priority wash your health no matter what. Yeah, 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 so you're right. We did try. Mm-hmm. We did try product. You see, uh, if the doctor will recommend, of course, it's a, it's a good one. Has to be, yeah. Our family friends and a family doctor. Yeah. And yeah. we did use the products. Mm-hmm. I did not. Um, I did not start the business. I just used to start the products. Mm-hmm. So using the products for um, two weeks, mm-hmm. my wife's uh, health improved. She was mm-hmm. able to sleep better, and uh, use my children's to use uh, to use it and mm-hmm. try it. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. And make the story short. Uh, mm-hmm. My son was telling uh, my family doctor was very was she was very smart. Mm-hmm. She used my son mm-hmm. to introduce the business. <laughs> I say, uh, um, <laughs> uh, my son was invited to see the presentation, and they mm-hmm. say, oh, that it's nice, it's a good one. Mm-hmm. And they say, if uh, if my dad will join. Then mm. I will enjoy. That's what we started. <laughs> smart way. Okay. Mm. Uh, yeah, a smart way. Mm. So we did the training, but in the long story short, it is always said that to have a business, you have to have to you have to know your business. Mm. You have to have a passion. You mm. have to know the product. You have to study the uh, the business itself. So. I did, I did, the most important was the training because the training is the most important element in this type of business. Mm. And mm. then uh, I did the training, attend the convention. That was the significant things when you attend the convention mm. because attending a convention, a big event, will develop your mindset of mm. looking for the bigger picture mm. for the vision of the company mm. because mm. You can just imagine from ordinary people, they were able to succeed. Mm. We have the same company, mm. the same products, the same mm. system. If they can do it, anybody can do it. Mm. That's mm. simple that I could say. Mm. And um, the journey of business made various different things to different people mm. because mm. circumstances change. Mm. But in this type of business that I, uh, both of us are involved is, it could be a part-time, mm. full-time, anytime. Mm. Mm. It, mm. It's just um, a side hustle, especially right now with this pandemic. Mm. Mm. Uh, people have to think it twice, thrice before doing anything, all types of business. Mm. Because the traditional business that i I've been with one year and it's struggling. Mm, you know, mm. the money that you get involved, the hard work that you have to get involved. Mm. And it's a different because the difference was there was no liberates in that particular. Mm-hmm. And in this uh, type of business, um, is there is a passive income if you're really serious enough to build the business right. Mm, it is mm. building business right. Mm. and follow the system mm. Mm. and that's basically is mm. Uh, mm. during the time of challenges i know there's time that you are down but because of your personal development uh the mentor that you got and the mm. people around mm. will develop you be strong enough and resilience mm. in building this business mm. 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 who 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 are who are the uh top two inspirations whom you look upon? Who are the two oh. top uh, uh, inspirations? Uh, well, in, in the company or? Uh, in, in general, in the business world. Uh, in the business world, I uh, really, uh, one number one I uh, really look at uh, I, is John Maxwell about leadership. 
Right, yeah. John C. Maxwell have written 50, 50 books wow. in his lifetime. Wow. And yeah. I meet him personally. It's about oh. leadership. Amazing. Amazing. And uh, the, the other one is um, uh, the other guy who is the founder of our company is Dr. Mario Nguyen's. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Um, the idea is the vision that he has impacted the world mm -hmm. about mm -hmm. health is uh, the vision that I really always put in my heart is mm -hmm. I dream of a world free from pain and suffering. I dream of a world free from disease. Mm -hmm. And the uh, the family on uh, the family that you're involved with that company mm -hmm. uh, will mm -hmm. be a healthiest family on earth. Live right. life its fullest in right. happiness and in health. That's amazing impact because a lot of companies they're just building for money, but mm -hmm. this company is different. It's building about your health, helping people to to maintain their health and enjoy the life mm -hmm. because mm -hmm. health is wealth. Mm, mm, mm. Without help, it doesn't matter. People have, um, are rich. They have Correct. no time. Correct. Uh, they have more money, but they don't have time. Correct. They cannot even enjoy the life. Mm, 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 and mm. you're uh, based on on what people who are achieved to the fullest, like multimillionaires. Mm, mm. They are multimillionaires in money, but they have mm. no time and their family is broken that's mm. not a balanced life what mm. we are after is developing a balanced life a priority for your family mm. how you can enjoy your business and successful and your family is broken mm. Mm. not mm. a balanced life mm. because you have to have a balanced life your health your life mm. your joy your way and your family mm. Mm. what are the two challenges that and your own personal challenges that you're working on from the business perspective what are those two challenges that you are working on regularly to improve? Uh, the most common is uh, um, uh, rejection. Mm -hmm. Number one is rejection. Mm -hmm. People, uh, uh, because of different mindset, mm -hmm. uh, I don't understand learning your business mm -hmm. is the key factors. Mm -hmm. And developing you within yourself through your mindset mm -hmm. is very, very important in the business world. Mm -hmm. Because a lot of people there, they mm -hmm. are um, what we call, they are conditioned. Mm -hmm. Everyone are conditioned to think, to work hard and go home, educated, but they don't believe on the business world because their mindset is only our um, job mentality. Mm -hmm. And mm -hmm. whenever you approach anybody else, Mm. They limit themselves. Mm. That's mm. the that's the challenges that you have to mm. overcome. That is personal development, mm. uh, listening to the right people, mm -hmm. uh, reading books, mm -hmm. inspirational mm -hmm. books, mm. and mm. Uh, uh, what we call the um, you, you have to have a mentor. Mm. A mentor mm. could be books. Mm -hmm. A mentor of people that you respect mm -hmm. and already been done that and successful in the line of your business hmm. because hmm. they know exactly what is the system hmm. and uh, they said that success shows some clue hmm. meaning hmm. they will tell you what's not to do and what to do true and true. your true. success is unstoppable once you be in there true 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 um what is one advice that you would want to give to the aspira aspirational entrepreneurs or the newbies or the the young generation who is uh, studying a lot, but they should do uh, some sort of entrepreneurial work. What is that one piece of advice that you will give? Um, to me, for thinking of advice is, uh, that's a very good question before because when I started myself, I was not a business minded. Mm. My only desire, uh, my only purpose is that I have that dream. Mm. Start with the dream, mm. Mm. desire, mm. that desire to change yourself for a better. Right. Because right. the thing is, um, 
when people pass through some breakthrough, some uh, pain and suffering, they call it pain and pleasure. Mm. I've been through the uh, pain mm. Of, mm. Uh, of, of my life. Mm. That this, is not, uh, uh, this is not a permanent, this is just a temporary. Mm. That's mm. why I say that you don't have to, to be good to start. You have to start to be good. True. In anything you know, True. In anything you do. True. But the thing is, the most important, um, most important is develop a passion, mm. a passion that you love to do and do it mm. with commitment, with clarity, and with consistency mm. plus massive action. Mm. That three elements is clarity, mm. uh, clarity, your vision, mm. and execution or action. Mm. Mm. So you have to you have that belief, hmm. belief hmm. that you can do it. Right, right, okay. Now, uh, last one again message uh, to your Filipino fellow brothers and sisters in your, uh, I think Tagalog is is the thing, yeah. Tagalog yeah, Tagalog. is the language. Tagalog, yeah. So give give yeah. a message in that language. Uh, mga kababayan ko. Ako ay na, nagpapasalamat sa, sa bahagi ngayong gabi o araw na to na ipahihahayag ko sa inyo na mag, maging maligaya, maging successful o maaabot nyo ang gusto mo kung gawin nyo at sa basta naniniwala kayo. Unang-una, ang i, ano ko, ang pag ang bilig ko sa sarili ko ay unang-una ang Panginoon, which is God, and then learn the business and mix with the right people, with entrepreneur. You join a group of business people, right-minded people with positive attitude because if you are mixing with the right people, you get the right answer and the right direction for your life. Lahat makukuha mo kung gusto mo. Thank you, Leo. It's, it was a real pleasure to have uh, you on to the show. And uh, I have uh, heard you and it actually has put me to think on few things what you have said. Uh, definitely have taken the points and uh, taken the note of them and will try and implement whatever I can in my journey as well. And we hope to keep uh, talking on to the subjects going forward. So we will we'll pick choose a topic and then we can uh, have a conversation of this kind for a good 20, 25 minutes and then help the people out there who are listening to us. Thank you very much, Leo. Hope to see you soon. Thank you, Paul. Thank you for your time. And I'm very proud to be part of this journey and whatever it takes. I could help. My belief is I will make a difference to other people to help them. Cool. And I believe that your also your uh, your purpose is to help to make a difference. Yes. And thank you. Thank you. Take care. Bye. Take care. Bye bye.